Welcome guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to show a full page loading screener for uh, API calls using uh, hooks. I am going to create a simple uh, hook for this and uh, full page loader component. And I am going for the demo. I will show you uh, how to uh, add this in this video. For this demo I have a sample uh, page which has a button. It's just simple straightforward page. When I click on the top button, I will call an API call uh, which is a JSON placeholder. That's uh, so a free uh, API. And for this, uh, all I need is uh, two things one is uh, the full page component and a hook uh, which utilizes this component. So I'm uh, creating uh, the full page loader component uh, which will just hold the loading spinner and uh, inside the container. I'm using react snippets to create a functional component which is the container of our whole element which will be a fixed position with a width and height 100% which will fill your screen let's name it our fv container And I am going to import uh, the loading spinner image. I already have the image downloaded and put it inside the folder. Let's name it IFP loader. So I'll show you the image that I have right now. I put it inside resource, and the spinner is the image that I use as a spinner. So first, I'm going to import that spinner icon. Sorry, image, and I'll put I'll place it in the image tag. Okay, our uh, loading component is almost ready. We just need to add a uh, simple CSS for this. As I mentioned before, uh, it was the fixed component with full uh, screen width and height. And we will add some uh, background color for this so with opacity so that it is like transparent for the user to see. It's kind of model drop, backdrop. And top should be zero and left should be zero. And I'll uh, add some whitish color to the background. Now here comes the image CSS. I'm just going to place it in the center, or you can modify the CSS however you want to fit it in your uh, application. I'm going to add the index, and the position should be uh, absolute. Okay, uh, CSS is done. So now the next step is to uh, create a hook. So inside my hooks folder, I'm going to create a new hook called uh, use uh, full page loader. Here it is just uh, it another uh, functional component which will return an array of uh, functions or functions or components whatever we need here I am going to return three things one is the loading spinner and uh, one function to show it and one function to hide it so it will be array and I am going to uh, create a state of to maintain whether or to show or hide the loader using our uh, use state By default, we'll make it as false, and we call it uh, loading and set loading. Now, based on this loading, uh, we will either render the loading spinner component 
or we will return nothing so the first element in the array is uh, the loading uh, component itself so if it is loading i'll uh, return the loading uh, full loader full page loader or i'll just uh, render return null and the second does the function uh, to actually uh, show the loader so once uh, on this function i will just set loading to true and the next element in the array is a function to actually uh, hide this loader it's the same thing you can also make it as like toggle kind of thing but uh, it's better to have it uh, two different functions to set and unset so our uh, hook is almost done so next we need to import this hook in the component and uh, start showing the spinner so let me uh, import the hook use uh, full page loader it will automatically import in uh, page so this has three things one is the loader icon itself and uh, the function to show loader and the function to hide loader so first let's uh, render this uh, loader loading spinner component and now uh, well just before calling the api call i will just call the show loader function then once we get the response we will actually uh, hide this loader okay i think we are almost done with our demo we'll go back and check the actual demo so let me click on the button and it shows the loading spinner from the hook now the hook is returning me the loader component so it's rendering in the UI. So it will be there until uh, this uh, API uh, was active. Now the response came and uh, our loading spinner disappeared. Now I again click. This is very simple uh, loading spinner component. So once you make it, uh, you can use it in multiple places in your application. So it's like very easy, useful, simple. Uh, hook that uh, we need uh, for almost for all the applications that we develop thanks for watching the video please subscribe for more videos like this